I have never done an unboxing where I already knew every cube here is going to be my main. Okay, this is super exciting. Wow, it's a JPerm 2x2. Two two. The only thing that could have made this better is if it came in the JPerm logo, but with this part being blue. I guess I'll have to do it myself. It's beautiful. Let's do some JPerms on this. Oh yeah. So if you've never seen a JPerm cube before, this is just a cube that is already being sold on Speedcube Shop. This is the YJ MGC 2x2. Except what makes it JPerm is I told them how I like it set up and then they gave it to me exactly how I like it and this is perfect out of the box. Other than having a bit of lube on the outside that's getting on my hand, but what can you do about that? If you watch my channel, you've definitely seen the JPerm RS3M 2020. This was the only JPerm cube before and was my main. Oh, that's a spoiler. And now we're gonna have JPerm 2x2 two two up to 7x7 seven seven all set up exactly the way that I like it. And oh, this is so satisfying to turn. Every time I'm using a 2x2, two two, I talk about how I haven't practiced it in a while. Well, guys, check this out. I have practiced a little bit. There we go. The YJ MGC was my main 2x2 two two a long time ago, and you actually saw me use this in a lot of my 2x2 two two videos. And one that I also really like is the RS2M Evolution. I unboxed this one recently and said I'd talk more about it because I think it's really good. I think it's actually like super smooth and it's very fast and so I think this is a great cube. However, it turns really, really fast and it can be hard to control sometimes because you don't always use the same amount of force in everywhere. It's uh, something that's a little hard to describe, but I think the MGC definitely feels more normal. As someone who doesn't specialize in 2x2, two two, I don't actually have a lot of 2x2 two two specific preferences with the speed and all that. It's just this feels the most intuitive to control, and that's why I really like it, and that's also why I really recommend it. I've said for many years, anyone starting out in 2x2 two two will probably find the YJ MGC to be the best for them, and even if you are world class level, this is still a good cube. But of course, why it is the JBroom cube is because it is my favorite. Oh, that is so fun to turn. Take it out. Oh, it's in the thing. Oh, is that a new JPerm logo? Well, just a different colored front every time, don't we? Actually, wait, this cube is the WR, white, red. All right, let's give this thing some turns. Ooh, okay. This one feels like it might need a little bit of time to break in. I, that's how I've noticed this cube just is. You need to use it a bit. Like a brand new worm is not as good as a broken in worm for sure. So this one is not really perfect out of the box. Also at the end of this video, I will let you guys know how these cubes are after a little while because uh, some of them do require some break in before they really are that good. Would it be weird to call this JPerm cube the J worm? I will let you guys decide that. I have a little secret, and that's even when the RS3M 2020 was my main, I actually did use this cube more as a practice 3x3 for about a week or two. During those few weeks, I really like the extra speed and flexibility from this thing because with extra practice, you can get used to it and be able to take advantage of it with. I feel like slightly better corner cutting and you can do crazier finger tricks. And even for stuff not that crazy, but just a little abnormal like the V-perm, I feel like I was doing better. And here, let me show you the settings I'm using on this. Oh, that is so hard to see, but I am using three. It goes from one to five, so three is the middle magnet strength. Under the caps, we have the spring compression system. This blue thing is twisted to the lowest part, which means this is actually on the fastest setting. This is already a fast cube and this setting makes it extra fast and I think that works well because when you have a cube that's really flexible, if you make it slow, it'll still kind of be flexible and that is just kind of an annoying combination to have. So that's why I like this one fast and it is such a good cube, especially once broken in, which it is not right now and I'm excited to use this a lot. So do I like fast cubes or medium speed cubes? I kind of like both, it just depends on the exact combination. It also depends on how I'm feeling at the moment, which is why... We still have the JPerm RS3M. The RS3M is such a good and well-liked cube by everybody. Honestly, if I'm recommending any cube to you and you don't know which one you want, I'd probably recommend this one to you. Oh, I will never stop liking this thing. This is just amazing. Even though I have moved on to 
faster and more flexible cubes, this will always have a special place in my heart and you can still buy it. The Worm is now my actual main and I would recommend this to people who are faster and have more advanced finger tricks because then it will not be quite as hard to control. But honestly, that's just a slight difference. No matter what level you are, I guarantee you will love either one of these. Or get both. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do. All the JPRIM cubes are at speedcubeshop.com. They are set up just how I like them. And when you buy it, you will also help to support this channel. And there's a link to all of them in the description. Okay, four by four to seven by seven is all the YJ MGC. This is not gonna be surprising for these ones, but why on four by four? Oh, that's so weird. I'm not used to seeing a JPRIM logo on a four by four. So this is the YJ MGC 4x4, and I actually used the Aosu Tomi RM for the longest time, and the reason is just mainly because it, it was a little bit smaller. Here is the size difference if you're wondering. Definitely a very, very small difference, but a difference that matters a little bit. Now, what happened one day is I was practicing 4x4 and I was not really improving, and then I switched from that cube to the MGC just cause, and suddenly, I was faster. I think that day I dropped my average from 35 to 34 seconds and it just stayed there, which was really weird. With big cubes, I always just want the setup to make it really fast and this is quite fast already. I do hope it will get even faster with break-in because I still need to turn all the sides a bit more. Young Joe Cube is so funny when you know that YJ actually stands for Youngjun. Wait, it says right here, it's Youngjun Toys. Every bigger cube with a JPRM logo just makes me really happy. As you guys know, I love 5x5. I love the YJ MGC 5x5. It is just the best one since they discontinued the Valk. I also like that one, but I like this one a little bit more anyway. So same deal with the 4x4. I kind of just told the good folks at Speedcube Shop just to set this one as fast as you can. And wow, there's a lot of lube on the outside. So I know it's probably gonna get faster later, but right now it's just, my hands are slipping everywhere. I do have a lube tutorial. The problem is, is it takes a lot of work. And the other thing is if you're new to this like taking apart and reassembling it and it's just not what you want to do you want to get your five by five and just learn how to solve it if you just think to yourself i'll just get a big cube and i won't set it up well the problem is if you don't set it up there's so much friction and it turns slower maybe not at first but then it starts to build up dust and that is the worst part so you just end up with a terrible cube that you're gonna have to clean out anyway like not just lube it but clean everything out of it so it stops being terrible and that's why when you get your first big cubes i highly recommend set up versions of it. You don't have to keep getting them forever. Later on, you will obviously have learned how to set them up, but in the beginning, it really helps just to know what a good one feels like. And if you don't have a good cube, then you can't do some of the harder finger tricks and like this, you'll be doing this. These are not habits you want. And it's just a lot less fun to solve this thing unless you can turn really fast. One good J perm, uh, maybe two, and we're moving on. I know exactly what I'm gonna see and it's gonna be a bigger cube with a J perm logo but it makes me so happy every time. MGC 6x6, this one is like better than any other 6x6 you can get. And that is just my opinion, but it is the correct opinion. The MGC 6x6 being so fast for a 6x6 actually makes this event fun and not tedious to practice. So even though you can get like triple parody stuff on 6x6, I actually do like this one a lot. It makes me like 6x6 so much. And so we're just gonna do some inner parody troll thing and uh, uh, we'll move on. Why is this a WCA event? But let's keep it because I'm good at it. This one is gonna take the longest to break in just cause there's so many layers. And uh, practicing seven by seven though, you really do want a well set up cube so it's not tiring to do your turns. Like if you gave me a slower seven by seven, I could just turn a little harder and achieve the same turning speed. But over the course of a three minute solve, which if you're not good at seven by seven is gonna be longer, it really tires out my hands and actually makes my solve slower in the end. And the other thing is when you have a big cube that turns really fast, you can focus all your energy on turning accurately because you really don't wanna be doing corner cutting stuff as you can 
possibly run into popping issues, but I don't think we're gonna get that on this cube because it's just such a good cube. It's also quite cheap for a 7x7, definitely my favorite one, except we don't know yet with this cube. This is the Aofu Worm, which I got very recently. It also turns gray and is smaller, which I actually like. It's kind of a weird timing when this one came out. If I actually like it more, I guess I'll figure out what to do about that, but the MGC 7x7 for now is my main and has been my main for a long time. I really like this cube. Now we have an entire JPerm cube family, and I know that is a little unsatisfying. Uh, the alternative was this with the upside down logo. I don't know, maybe better. We're gonna keep it like this. I know what I'll be doing a lot this next week, and let's see how these cubes are after the break in. Hey guys, I've used these cubes for a week now, and of course I know how they're supposed to feel because they're set up just like my cubes, but I just wanted to let you guys know how long they take to break in. The 2x2 was pretty much perfect out of the box, and every cube does need to break in so it is going to get better over time, but mainly the speed was good and I could control it. It is so satisfying to turn this J from 2x2 and I love it. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you, I have remembered all of my 2x2 algorithms. So you guys better watch out. I'm coming for the record. There were two 3x3s to break in, and the JPerm RS3M, I've used this one before, it's been out for over a year, and this is very good out of the box. Now, like with any cube, it gets better when you break it in because the plastic starts to smooth out a little bit more, and that's just how every cube works. So again, it's not perfect out of the box, but the lube already feels amazing. But my new main, the Maglev Worm, took longer to break in just to get the lube to even out a little bit because in the beginning, it does feel a little bit strange but now it is a lot faster and feels really nice. The big difference for me between the Maglev Worm and the RS3M is with this cube, you really have to turn very lightly. If you turn too hard, the cube will just overturn, but if you turn lightly, then it will pretty much do what you want, and it will let you potentially reach higher speeds. And that's why I recommend this cube to more advanced solvers, as you have to have more control over your turns. Oh, wow. Oh, PLL skip. The JPerm 4x4 was already great out of the box. It wasn't perfect, it did need to be a little bit faster, just like all of these cubes. They were a little slow out of the box, but that's just kind of how it works. And this one broke in pretty quickly. I was solving on all of these cubes, and after a day or two, the 4x4 was already great. Now for the JPerm 5x5 to 7x7, these cubes have a lot of lube, and because of that, a lot of it will leak out at the start. So you're probably going to want a towel near you, and after every solve, you're gonna to want to towel off the cube so that it stays dry on the outside. After about one day of solving, the 5x5 and 6x6 were already great, but the 7x7 stayed kind of slow. It might have to do with just how many layers there are to break in, I'm not exactly sure why, but the 7x7 will take longer to break in in my experience. And there's one more thing I recommend with the 5x5s to 7x7s, and this is only if you think you are relatively good at controlling and turning these cubes. If you are starting on these puzzles, don't worry about this, but if you are faster, try loosening the screws by 90 degrees, and that's gonna make the cube faster. If you loosen the cube, you drastically increase the risk of the cube popping. So I only recommend this if you think you can control your turns on big cubes and turn accurately while fast, and don't corner cut because then the cubes will pop. And if you really value speed and really trust your skill, you can even loosen it 180 degrees. I personally like this setting more, but this is something you'll wanna play around with because it highly depends on your skill level. And so the way that it comes out of the box is just for more beginners because you know if a beginner pops the cube, they don't really know how to put it back together. So again, only if you're experienced at these puzzles, you should actually loosen them, but otherwise keep it the way it is out of the box. And if it feels slow, just keep solving on it because it will get better as it breaks in. And that's mainly the 7x7 because I think the 5 and the 6 are already quite fast out of the box and break in quickly. These cubes are now all on Speedcube Shop and the price that you're seeing covers the price of the cube, having someone set it up for you, and also a little bit of it goes to support my channel with each cube bought. There's also a bundle for all of them where you get to save $15. You do have to pick only one 3x3, but you can buy the other one separately if you want it for some reason. And there's a bunch of other JPerm stuff, links to all these in the description. They all help to support my channel, so just keep Keep that in mind. I try not to be biased, but it does help to support this channel if you buy them. And of course, use the discount code J 
jperm at checkout. Somehow getting all these new cubes at once and having them all be my main just feels really nice and I'm excited to practice a lot on them because my old mains were so old. Thanks for watching and I know you guys will love these cubes because in my opinion they are the best cubes and I cannot wait for everyone in the world to set all of their PBs on these cubes.